Hello, hello, hello everyone. Cynthia Tellett, Miss Flip It, your Gypsy Medicine Woman, here to do a card reading. And I'm going to do this one on forgiveness, because there's lots of forgiving we need to go <laughs> give this year, because there's been a lot of hurt, and there's been a lot of pain, and how do we get over hurt? How do we get over pain? Well, I find one of the best things is by letting go of the um, idea or the perception or whatever it is that we think is in our heads and forgive ourselves and the others that we think created the misery within ourselves but forgive ourselves and thank ourselves for going through the forgiveness and say I'm sorry please forgive me thank you I love you yeah those kind of things I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. And just keep putting that into the situation and the feelings change and shift. So let's see what the cards have to say about the forgiveness reading. It says, we have to wait patiently when we're in the middle of forgiving because we already got um, this energetical feel that something's not quite right or not quite beautiful as we'd like it to be. And so when you're in the middle of forgiving the universe for, <laughs> or forgiving yourself or whatever, for this, um, whatever is happening that we felt like was supposed to go another way or a different way, to remember that the universe knows exactly what it's doing. It has your back. And when we forgive the situation that's at hand, that's happening, it comes back with major, major, better results for us than we could have possibly ever imagined. So we are waiting to get over the story that we need to forgive. <laughs> so help us, cards. Help us with our forgiveness program. What is it that we could do to help the general public out here through their forgiveness program, through the things that have happened throughout their lives, that we're finding out that's not real. It's not true. But we believed them to be all these years and all these lifetimes. It says to take a break, rest, and reconsider those thoughts. Reconsider the belief structure. Reconsider how those stories were implanted into us and reconsider how we can implant them and put in new seeds, better stories, ones that serve us, ones that feed us, ones that inspire us, ones that are giving us purpose. Oh, nice, 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 nice. I love the cards when they come out just perfectly so the perfect words can come out to help us <clears throat> go through our own forgiveness program for whatever or whoever or anything, whatever you feel uh, mad or angry or upset about or have uh, resentment or all these uncomfortable feelings, anything that makes you feel uncomfortable, that's what <clears throat> we want to go in and forgive. We want to forgive ourselves. We want to teach ourselves how to feel better in the end result. And when we're forgiving ourselves, in reality, when we forgive ourselves, we actually are forgiving everything that is involved in that process also. Because once you forgive the whole thing, it's nothing but love with inside of ourselves. Because we knew that was part of the gift. The gift to teach us how to forgive ourselves so we can live in a happier state. So we may embrace this happier feeling of a moment. So we may embrace the life that we want to live. We may embrace the happy feelings. Yeah, that's a pretty good forgiveness program going on there, I think. 
Anything else? It's been a crazy ass year. It says find our balance. And this has been coming up a lot. I believe it has been a year that we need to find our balance. Find our balance within ourselves. Find the peace within. Find the joy within. Operate from a balanced self. Through forgiving ourselves, teaching ourselves how to forgive ourselves so we can embrace the love with balance in our lives. And that means we need to release all those darkest fears and take the lead. Take the lead within your own personal sphere of your own personal being in your own personal life how it is you energetically feel. Nobody else can really do that for you. I can give you clues and I can give you tips and I can tell you what to do, but I can't actually do the work for you. And I cannot do the forgiveness program for you. I can let you know it's okay to forget our, forgive ourselves for anything up till this moment. It's okay for us to release those old stories and let them go. It's okay for us to rewrite those stories within our lives so those stories are actually making us feel awesome, amazing, and wonderful inside, teaching ourselves the better lesson in life, teaching us what <laughs> that lower vibrational feel was here all about, and how to handle it so we're okay in the middle of the process. So you're okay in the middle of chaos. So you can take the lead in your life. By releasing all those darker stories. Those shadow stories. We can let them go. We don't have to believe them. We don't have to keep holding on to them. We can just be gone with them. That's right, be gone through a forgiveness program. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you and thank you. And you can say that in any which way you like. It really rises the vibrational level up. That's dedicated effort. That raises the vibrational level up to receive this unconditional love within yourself and to attract it from others. Taking the lead so you can have the unconditional love within your life. It's, right. it's okay, you don't have to live that lucky old way. It's okay to live in this beautiful, wonderful, amazing world. <laughs> yes, I said beautiful and I did say amazing and wonderful. It is all of that. If we just open our eyes just for a moment and see what's around you right now. Do you have a roof over your head? Do you get food in your belly? Do you have clothes on your back? Do you get water every day? Can you see the trees or the butterflies? Take the lead of your own emotional life. Take the lead, you can do this. We know how we feel inside and we know how, what makes us feel better. Really challenge yourself to go after that better feeling of a way to live your day. Let go of anything, anything that makes you feel less than 100% whole and complete. <laughs> if it doesn't make you feel good, let it be gone. Be gone with it. Yes. It's okay to release what is not serving us. And it is definitely okay to embrace your happy self. It's okay to embrace your loving self. It's okay to love life today in the middle of chaos. It's okay to love who you are. That's right. Okay, well, this is what happens when you love who you are. You get stronger and your bonds get stronger, so you're strengthening the bonds around you. 
and then you'll get to come out and shine. Yep, that's the best card in the deck. We go through all those emotional feels so we can bring that better feeling forward within ourselves to allow ourselves to feel the shine that others see. But here you get to operate from that loving self. Okay, that's the end of the read today. This is the, actually the bottom of the card says success and grow. So this is, is, this is how we grow and succeed. So this is Cynthia Toa, Miss Flip It. You're a gypsy medicine woman and your happiness coach. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It helps bring the YouTube channel up and allows other people to see the message, which feeds our soul. Till next time, have a beautiful day.